here's my explanation for the ending to Halloween Ends that a lot of people may not be ready for. Let's go. Lock your doors, bolt your windows, and turn off the lights. Make sure the kids are safe at home, because you're headed to the night watch zone, 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 zone. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And today, I wanted to do a follow-up to my last video um, concerning what I think the ending of Halloween Ends is going to be like. Um, I know I've had a lot of lot of feedback about it. Um, a lot of folks, um, they've you know commented and in, in, in live streams, kind of asked about it. And uh, we actually did a live stream um, just uh, on Tuesday night. Uh, with uh, my good friends Craven Something Scary, Shape in the Shadows, and also Movies and Beyond. And I, I let them know about it as well. Uh, but I want to explain it a little bit so that people don't misunderstand what I'm saying. So just bear with me for a minute, guys. Now, what I said was, I think that the ending of Halloween Ends could be really, really different, um, which is based upon everything that we've heard from the filmmakers. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% going to happen. I'm just talking about it as a possibility, something that's come to my mind, because I think it's going to be a little bit more layered than just Lori killing Michael or Michael killing Lori. You know, um, it, it could happen that way. Again, I want to say this again. It could happen that way. Lori could win or Michael could win. It could be that that easy, that cookie cutter. But... I keep thinking to myself that this trilogy has really been about trauma and the effects of trauma on Laurie Strode and on her family. And it's also shown the effects on a town, which is Haddonfield. Um, we saw that especially in Halloween Kills. So what if at the end of Halloween Ends, we have a lot of people that are going to die. I think Laurie's going to kill Corey. So in other words, she's going to have her moment of beating the boogeyman so to speak quote unquote winning but then she realizes that when she you know kills Corey and unmask him that that's not michael myers that's not that's not james Jude courtney and so you know they have their battle with each other and one way or the other michael either leaves and Lori allows it so they might battle and maybe it's a stalemate or maybe he injures Lori really, really badly. And then he just goes off to, to be dormant like he was at the end of Halloween Kills. That's what David, Gord David Gordon Green said is that he basically went off like a wounded animal going to the forest to just to die or to just be. And he's dormant. Um, and I think that might be the way that he walks off at the end of this movie. But the way that he, do he does it. Is that Lori allows it to happen. You know, she lets go of her obsession with the boogeyman. It's cost her 40 years of her life. It cost her her family, her daughter, her son-in-law, um, and so forth and so forth. Like, if she wasn't obsessed with Michael Myers, Karen would still be alive. You know, and I think in this movie, she's healing and she's trying to heal, but we saw in the trailer where Allison says, you act like you're okay, but you're not. You're still obsessed with death. And I think at some point, at the end of this movie, like to me, I guess what I'm saying, guys, is that it would make sen more sense to me that at some point in this movie, she finally does get to a place of letting go. You know what I mean? Like, if, if she kills Michael, then... You know, she gets revenge and, and she, quote unquote, stops the boogeyman, right? But, you know, a lot of people, they say this, you know, revenge doesn't, it, it doesn't really heal, you know? So at the end of the movie, I think there's going to be some type of twist where, you know, Michael does leave. He walks off and Lori is fine with it, or at least she just figures... I'm done with you. I'm truly letting go. Now, I know there are some people that have said, why would she be okay with Michael, you know, walking off to die, whatever. 
he killed her daughter. You think she's just going to be happy with that? No, I'm not saying that. And they're not going to sit there and shake hands and give each other a nod and go their separate ways. It's not going to work like that. That would be ridiculous. But I think something's going to happen where, you know, she just does realize she has to let this go. Michael, Michael is not after her. She actually put herself in his path. You know, well, Sartain did, but... If she had just left Haddonfield after the events of 78, none of this would have even happened, you know? Now, I'm not saying, you know, okay, put all the blame on Laurie Strode, but I'm just saying she was obsessed with Michael Myers for 40 years, and we know that that's a fact. So anyways, you know, I wanted to explain that point just so that people kind of understood where I was coming from. And the reason that I think it's a possibility is because it's something that I don't think anyone sees coming i know i didn't until i you know thought about it and I, you know i made the video about it last week um and it's 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 different you know and everyone like john carpenter and christopher nelson and, and nick castle all these folks james Duke courtney saying it's different it's weird people won't see it coming we've seen michael win you know at the end of a movie or survive we've seen laurie kill michael at the end of H2O. So we've seen those things. And plus those are things that people. They can readily guess. You know one's going to win. Or the other's going to win. But if they do this. It's de it's different. You know and it definitely can. Cause people to to question it. And, and, and wonder about it. And you know it really speaks on. You know these effects. Of, of the trauma that this character has dealt with. For 40 years. And the choices that she's made to deal with it. You know or to not deal with it and so forth i also think it really could upset fans i think there's going to be there could be a lot of fans saying well how could she how could she make that choice just like in the comments of, of, of my videos a lot of people saying you know that'd be the worst thing ever and and so forth and so forth you know i think execution is always everything everything has to be executed correctly you know um, that's true of all movies, even at the end of Halloween 78, if they didn't execute that correctly, as far as, you know, Michael surviving, you know, Luma shooting him and so forth, then people, you know, they wouldn't have been happy with the movie. So it has to be executed correctly. But I really think that Corey is going to be used as a plot device to basically put this all right in front of Lori. Like, how are you going to deal with with this trauma are you really trying to heal you know are you healed or not and we're going to find out just like they showed in the the trailer she's not fully healed with it you know and and she is triggered still triggered by michael and so forth but at the end of the movie when she's really facing michael you know i think that's when that choice is going to be made anyways i think it's an interesting thing um, I'm still so excited to see how they pull off this whole entire movie and we're literally almost a week away from it. So anyways, for you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think of this theory? Um, you know, I, I, I've been trying to think of some title to, to give it, but I don't know the forgiveness theory or whatever. Not so much that she's forgiving him for all the evil things he's done or killing her daughter, but just saying, I'm done with you. I'm done with the boogeyman. I truly am done with the boogeyman, finally. What do you guys think of that as the ending, possible ending for Halloween ends? I think it could actually happen. I really do. So let me know in the comment section down below. Please give the video a like. It would help support the channel, and I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to the Nightwatch Zone, what are you doing? This is the time to do it. We're almost a week away from Halloween ends. Can't believe it. It's a lot of fun, man. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the Night Watch. Peace. Mm -hmm.